Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praises to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS, stop and listen. Uh, just uh, following the truth, man, come with another lesson. Just, uh, you know, going over uh, what's going through my mind, you know, in the truth, man. And I was uh, just, just, um, you know, you watch brothers' videos, you watch videos of the kingdom, and a thought came in my head, you know, about the promises that we, the, basically the promises that we're going to be getting. You know, the, the land the, the, to basically be rule over the dominion of everything, man. The land, the cattle, uh, wives, children, you know, uh, un, like I said, untainted air, which is, is a beautiful thing when you think about it because living here in America, man, everything is tainted, man. The water is tainted, the air, the food, you know, it's just, it's, it's one thing after another, man. Our, our you know, our whole immune system is, is, is just, is tore down when you deal with America, man, and, and being displaced, being ran by the wicked. So I was just meditating on the promises that we're going to receive in the kingdom. And I'm going to go into the word, uh, that word promise. You look the word promise up. It's a declaration or assurance that one will do a particular thing or that a particular thing will happen. Right? And one and some synonym, synonyms of the word promise is assurance, a pledge, a vow, a guarantee, an oath, a bond, an undertaking agreement, a covenant. Right? The word covenant. Now let's go into the word covenant. 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 Uh, covenant. It says a contract, agreement, or undertaking, commitment, a guarantee, a pledge, a promise. So the word promise and the word uh, covenant, they are interchangeable, man. They mean the same thing. And I, I was just want to go through a few scriptures because you have a lot of people they think that the Lord is basically coming back for for everybody that's on the planet when that's not true, right? The Lord is only coming back. He gave that promise to He gave it to the the sons of God, right? Which are basically when you when you really look at it are are, are uh, uh, Israelites. And I'm going to just show you how, how it went through and how that promise who who the basically the promises went to. Because the promises lie with the nation of Israel, and I'm, I'm gonna prove that. Now, I want to start out in Genesis, the ninth chapter. Uh, this is basically the, the uh, covenant he made with Noah, the agreement he made with Noah. All right, and this is uh, I'll start at eight verse. It says, "In the Most High spake unto Noah." Noah and Noah means a uh, 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 comfort, right? It says, "And his sons with him, saying, and I." I, and I behold I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you he say establish his covenant with you and your seeds after you meaning that seed meaning your descendants man um let me look that up that seed uh in Genesis the ninth chapter ninth verse it was your seed, uh, Zerai, seed sowing your offspring, offspring descendants, prosperity your children, right? So he said he was going to make a covenant with them and their children, their descendants. And it says, and with every living uh, creature that is with you of the fowl and cattle and every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth, man. And I will establish my covenant, my agreement, my pledge with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by water of the flood. That was part of the agreement that the Lord wouldn't kill everybody with a flood anymore. Because he had just, just taken everybody out. He only saved those eight souls, man. He saved Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth, and their wives, man. He, he saved eight souls, man, and and you know that and that's how cold the Lord is. The Lord, the Lord is the Lord of, uh, of God of mercy. Look at the mercy shown in this particular time. Now He's going to save a uh, 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 one third of Israel, man, and one hundred forty-four thousand. 
man, that's a lot of people. When Israel is, is scattered, uh, uh, they like the sand of the sea, the scriptures tell you in uh, 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 Hosea. They are the sand of the sea, right? And that, and that and that's having mercy, man. Because back in that day, the wickedness of the world, the Lord only saved eight people. And eight people repopulated the whole earth. So for him to save uh, as many as people he's going to save on this go around, he's, he's really showing mercy to us, man. He's showing mercy. It says, um, and the Most High said, this is the token of my covenant, which I will make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I will set my bow. He said, I will set my bow in the cloud. And that bow right there, when you look in the margin, it says a rainbow, man. And it says, uh, and it shall be a token, meaning a sign, right, of the covenant between me and the earth, man. So whenever you see the rainbow, when you see the rainbow after, while it's sometimes while it's misting and raining, right after the rain, you see a rainbow. That's a sign, man. The Lord is basically telling you, hey, I, even after the rain, you know, no matter how hard that rain comes down, man, he's not going to flood it with, with water no more, you know. And I and I have seen it rain for like two weeks straight before, man. You know, I've seen it rain hard for like four or five days in a row, just hard, you know, where everything is basically in your area be flooded out. But the Lord said he won't flood the whole earth out no more, man, with, with water. So when you see that rainbow, that's 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 the uh, covenant. That's the remembrance of that covenant, man. That's him reminding, you know. But but Esau uh, tends to say when they see a rainbow, it's it's a uh, 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 gold at the end of. It. So they have you fucking chasing rainbows and shit, chasing uh, uh wide, old wise tales and shit, you know. Um, and it says verse. Uh, verse uh, 14 and, and it shall come to pass when I bring that cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud that's why you see the, the different spectrum of colors man you know and it says and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh man and, and it's beautiful man you know, verse 17, and the Most High said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and you and all flesh upon the earth, right? And it says, and the sons of Noah that went forth out of the ark was Shem, Ham, Japheth, and and Ham is the father of, of Canaan. Now, when you go, when you go into the sons, it has to be a particular son gets the blessing that has that's how it has to happen now when you read the next story about Noah being drunk and his son Ham looking on his drunkness right he didn't receive no blessing he said curse be uh, Canaan right his, his kids his kids descendants will be cursed and it says in verse uh, 26 it says and and he said bless be the Lord power of Shem and Canaan shall be his servants God shall enlarge Japheth and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem so he said he will enlarge Japheth right? when, when, when the particular parts of the land were given now Japheth had what you, what you know as uh, uh, Europe and Russia right now that was the land that, got, that he enlarged them with right and, and Shem only inherited that small land that's right there in the in the Middle East, man. That real small part of the Middle East. And Ham, uh, Ham actually uh, inherited what's what's now today called Africa, which was Ham, Ham, right? But it says, "Blessed be the uh, 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 blessed be the Lord power Shem, man." So Shem inherited that blessing, which "bless" means Barak in Hebrew. It says to bless, to kneel, right? Uh, to be adored, to praise or salute, right? So if someone's, if you're, if you're blessed, if you're blessed then you, you have basically people kneeling to you, man. Right now, the nation of Israel, ain't nobody, ain't nobody kneeling to us, man. 
so therefore at this particular time we're not we're not blessed being in this kingdom this kingdom is esau's kingdom everybody's bowing down and saluting and praising and, and kneeling to esau man so esau is blessed in this particular eon right now but his time is coming short esau is the end of the world and jacob is the beginning of that which followed man so we, we're we're going to uh 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 those are the promises man that we're going to that's that agreement you know that pledge man you know and, and right now we're not benefiting from it so we will benefit soon come when your shot comes back and returns man that's when the, uh we're going to benefit from benefit the uh covenant that was established here man, when you read way back in the ancient days man. and then it went from shem and then when you go through shem and you go all the way through the lineage when it goes down to abraham the lord told abraham in the uh in the in the 12th chapter he says uh let me let me pull it up on the phone just in case i gotta look a word up something. he told him in the 12th chapter he says now the lord yahweh have said unto abram right exalted father abram abram exalted father get thee out of thy country get thee out of thy country from thy kindred because his kindred his father was into that uh, uh, uh idol worship man you know terror terror was into that idol worship man so he told abraham you got to get away from your family man and that's the same way with us in the truth man a lot of brothers when you come into the truth you in the truth but your 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 parents not in the truth your your siblings are not in the truth so basically man you, you get away from them you know uh we, we have parents but like we still deal with our parents but a lot of times, I'm gonna tell you, brothers will get away from like, you know, like brothers and sisters and all them cousins, man. That that really ain't in the truth. They ain't really ain't, ain't you know ain't, ain't got no love for you. How about you, shy man? Who's always in the uh, uh, going after their own lust, man? We basically, man, we 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 basically we might deal with them, but we don't really deal with them. You know what I mean? It might be a high and by situation. You know, we might give them a dap or something. It needs to be your your brothers what you have with your mom and your father, man. You know, because they tell you I, uh, what the Lord say. My real brothers are the ones who do the will of the Father, man. So that these are our real brothers, brothers in the truth. You know. And it says, now the Lord Yahweh said unto Abram, Abram, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from the ho the father's house unto the land which I will show thee, and I will make make of thee a great nation he said i will make of thee a great nation and i will bless thee and and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and i will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee and they and and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed man so when he say all families of the earth, it's not talking about everybody. It's talking about when you go when you go through the when you go through the line when it go and it's uh, it's going to basically go to Isaac and Jacob. It's basically talking about the, his descendants, man, which are the, the twelve tribes, man. You know. Um. So the Lord gave that blessing to Abram, which he passed it on to. Let me show you who he passed it on to. The promises, man. You gotta remember that agreement, that covenant of assurance, man. It wasn't given to everybody, man. Uh, he was given to, he had, and you remember, Abraham had two sons, right? He had Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael was from the bond woman, and Sarah, being a free woman, had her child, uh, Isaac. Which he talks about that in Galatians. And this is uh, Genesis uh, 22 and 16. And said by myself, I have sworn, said the Lord Yahweh, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, because he was supposed to have sacrificed Isaac. He was supposed to have took him and, and made an altar, you know, wood, and he was supposed to have sacrificed. They was testing Abraham's faith, man. The, uh, the Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh was testing Abraham's faith, right? And he was gonna kill his son, so basically the uh, the angel had stopped him, right? I'm gonna start at 15. It says, "And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham." 
And at this point, his name was changed to Abraham, which was a uh, father of a multitude. Changed from a Abram, which is an exalted father. It says, And the angel of the Lord, Yahweh called unto Abraham out of the heaven the second time, and said, By myself I have sworn, this is the promise to Isaac, right? Because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, it says that verse 17 that in blessing I will bless thee and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven man and that's heavy man because when you look in heaven man you can't even count the stars there's so many stars in the heaven you can't even count them so it lets you know that the nation of Israel you can't even count the nation of Israel when the Lord said in Deuteronomy he scattered us on the four corners man Israel is in every nation that's why the scriptures say this gospel will be preached to the ends of the of the, of the world, the ends the, into the end, and then the, uh, throughout the world, and then the end will come, because you have Israelites that are scattered in all these different nations over the world, and this world has to go out, and the word is going out through the thumb of many Urim, which is the internet, man. Which when you read Psalms the 19th chapter, the first verse through the fourth verse, it, it explains that this word is going out, man. We're putting these these, these these lessons up uh, uh, on on the on the on the YouTube, you know. So that's why you know we always say, "Hey, the internet was created for the men of the Lord to push this word," because we're not able to basically get on planes and cars and drive all over the world, man. Paul journeyed like that back in the day in that particular little small area he was in. You know, we're not able to basically get in a car and and go all the way to the the outback of Australia. And set up a lesson and try to find the elect. No, we just we push it on push it on the internet. You know where to be maybe may seen day and night in any language, man. So it says, verse seventeen, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand of the seashores, man. So if you pick up a handful of sand, man, you, you're not going to be able to count every grain of sand, bro. That'll, that'll, if you grab a, a handful of sand, it will take you days and days in to count them grains, man. So that lets you know, man, the Lord created Israel, man. It's, it's a lot of Israelites, man. That's why the scriptures say in 1 John 4 and 1, you got to try the spirit by the spirit. Because you never know who are Israelites, man. We're not into just when you meet people when they come up. Uh, uh, you you uh, you you a Japhite or you you a Hamite or you you a Edomite. You have to try the spirit, man. You have some brothers that have that ability to, to discern spirits, right? That's one of the gifts they have. They can tell right off, man. They can tell before they even speak. And that's that's a that's a great gift to have too. You know, and it says. Uh, it says, as the sand of the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, man. And are we possessing the gate of our enemies? No. Esau's in charge. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Right? And it says, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be, be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my, my, uh, my voice. So Abraham returned unto the young men, and they rose and went together to Bathsheba. And Abraham dwelt in uh, dwelt at, at at Bathsheba. He dwelt there. So that that blessing was given to uh, Isaac, man. And then Isaac, Isaac, in turn, when you read. He chose his wife in, in chapter 24 and in 25 he had he had two sons Esau and Jacob right and when it came time when you read the 27th chapter uh, when 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 um, when Isaac was basically he was dying you know he was uh, going blind right he was going before he died he wanted to have uh, some more of his sons uh, cooking Esau but see, the mother, Rebecca, it was all in the spirit. She had a plan to help her son get the blessing, which was putting the, the hair of a goat on there because Esau was hairy. 
so she wanted Jacob to to uh, to emulate Esau, basically. So when when that time came, uh, and it says right here, um, this is how Jacob got the blessing. It says after after the mom had put all the uh, the the uh, raiment of the goat on him. He came up and it says, And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. Because the voice didn't sound like Esau. Right? So what he did was when he came up, he felt him, he discerned like uh, his hands. You know, he said, so he felt the hands and it felt like Esau. So he said, hey, you be blessed. He says, and he said, Art thou my very son Esau? He said, I am. Right? And he said, Bring it near to me that I may eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. Right? And he brought it near unto him, and they and he did eat. And he brought him wine and he drank. And his and his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now and kiss me my son and he came near and kissed him and he smelled of his raiment because you know he was trying to see if he smelled like like uh well that's like we you know you go hunting now man you smell like the woods man you smell like the wilderness man you know when you killing and you you killing and you uh, uh 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 skinning animals and stuff you're gonna smell that blood you're gonna smell that 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 wild smell man that's what he, he was trying to smell. It says, he came near and kissed him and he smelled of his raiment and blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is the smell of the field, see? And, the, and Yahweh have blessed, therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over the brethren and let thou mother's son bow down to thee. It says, bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that curses thee, and bless be everyone that bless thee. So he was given, he was given the dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth, plenty of corn and wine. All the blessing was to have all the substance of the world, and to have basically to have uh, uh, slaves, man. Because when it says have people uh, bow down, thy mother's son bow down to thee that's that when you bow down you're kneeling and we looked up the word bless that means kneel so it's to have everybody in basically have slaves and have everybody bowing down to you that was that blessing man that that was given and it, it was given to uh 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 jacob man and it says and it came to it and it came to pass as soon as isaac made an end of the blessing to jacob and Jacob was yet scarce, scarce gone out of the presence of Isaac his father. Then his, and Esau, that Esau his brother came from hunting. So as soon as he went and got the blessing, he left. Then Esau came, man. And then when Esau came, you can read the rest of the story. That's the reason why uh, Esau hates Jacob because he didn't. He uh, begged of his father that he have one blessing. He basically gave him the blessing of. Uh, he basically gave Esau. The blessing of the sword, man. You know? He says, verse 38, And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessed my father? Bless me, even me also, my, oh my father. And Esau lifted his voice and wept, and he was crying, man. You know? He was crying, because he had already just sold his birthright for a piece of meat. In his in his mind, like damn, he didn't he didn't like he didn't got over on me again, man. You know. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above, man. Right. And it says, And by the sword thy shall live, and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou have had dominion that thou shalt. When thou, when thou hast had dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck, man. So Esau broke that yoke uh, when you read in Chronicles. And then after, uh, uh, after uh, 
they broke that yoke and then they came back and took over with the Greek with the Greeks and, and Alexander man you know and since then uh, they've been basically in charge other than the dark ages from 325 to like 1356 Esau Esau has been basically in, in charge man you know he said that by the sword he will live and that's how Esau lives by the sword man he still continues to go out to the fields right just like just like his forefather and hunts he still does that he still he still smell wild like that when you smell them they don't smell like the Israelites man they smell they have a they have a wild smell to them man it's an earthly smell they have they, they bodies when you when you uh, next to Edomite you know so that when that blessing went to Jacob Jacob the blessing went on to the 12 tribes man because Jacob had uh 12 sons man you know and that's that's what it is this whole when you read here in uh uh Leviticus Leviticus 26 and 46 and these are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel man in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses all these laws statutes and commandments are made for the children of Israel man you know the promises man that agreement you know it was with Noah it was with Abraham then it was with Isaac and it was with Jacob and it was and it lies in the 12 tribes man you know the promises matter of fact that's what Paul told a, a gripper when he was uh, speaking with a gripper he mentioned that the promises being with the 12 tribes I think here in uh, I think it's Acts 26 oh let's see here Mm. I think he's testifying his conversion. I think he says, twenty six. Six Salaki, bear with me. Paul before Agrippa. It says, Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth his hand and answered for himself, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I share, I shall answer for myself this day. It says, before thee touching all things where I I am a cursed, accused of the Jews, especially because I know thee to be expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews, wherefore I beseech thee to hear me patiently. My manner, my manner of life from my youth, which was at the first among my own nation at Jerusalem, known all the Jews which knew me from the beginning if they would testify after the most straightest sect of our religion I live a Pharisee and now I stand and I am judged for the hope of the promise right that agreement that pledge the promise made of the most high unto our fathers unto which promise our 12 tribes instantly serving the most high day and night hope to come for which hope's sake King Agrippa I am accused of the Jews man I am accused of the Jews man they said the promise to the 12 tribes man when you read in Peter's he's talking to the 12 tribes man 
this this whole scriptures is, is dealing with the 12 tribes man that's what the promises the pledge went to right that's what the that's that's who the word is for uh psalms 140 we know this scripture psalms 140 140 uh 7 19 and 20 he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel man and that's plain man that's plain. The Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. That's who the promises went to. You have a lot of people, they like to say, well, we all come out of Adam, but the scripture tell you here, and I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to close it. Uh, just dealing with promises, man. Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra 6 and uh, 54. And it says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all creatures, of him come we all, right? Everybody living, we all come out of Adam. It says, and the people whom thou hast chosen. So it's a chosen people. Eclectos, man, a chosen, man. And this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, man. For as the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, man, but like unto spittle, and hast likened unto the abundance of a drop that followed from a vessel, man. So that's the Lord, man. You you like that drop of water that's falling over the side of a, of a, of a, uh, of a vessel which is full of water. You're not really going to uh, uh, miss that, man. You're not really worried about it. And that's how the Lord look at you other nations. He made the world for the Israelites' sakes, man. And it's right here in the scriptures, man. And it says, Now, O Lord, O, o Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, behold, these heathen which have never been reputed as nothing, they have been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. And, that, and, and that's what's happening now. The heathen are over us, man. It tells you in Deuteronomy 28 chapter that the heathens would come and they would they would get uh, above you basically. You be the they would be the head and you'll be the tail. Starting with Esau, man. Even Moab is uh, uh, getting getting it in here in America, man. Ham, Ishmael, they all coming in America. They getting higher than you in America, man. You know. And they said they would begin to be lords over us, man. They go, uh, you have a. Uh, uh, a lot of people have Korean landlords and shit. <clears throat> How you have a Korean fucking landlord? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, the, the, uh, Elam, the uh, East Indians, they own all the uh, little liquor stores now. You know? You see them at the liquor stores and the gas stations. And, and, and Ishmael got the little, uh, they got the little grocery stores now. Selling CDs and shit. Hell, Jake selling CDs. They they talking about that's pirating. They be want to take you to jail. But Ishmael got a whole setup and shit. You know, selling you selling you CDs and shit. So they they get they getting oh they they really coming up here, man. He says, and now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathens which have been ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us, and to devour us, man. They don't give a shit about you, man. They don't give a shit about you, Israelites, man. That's why you see them, them Arabs get them, 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 uh, them Arabs when they get those uh, gas stations. They are high Hamites, man. They won't even hire Jake. They're high fucking Hamite, man. So it's just like, hey, it seems like ain't no way out for Jake now, man. That's why you need, uh, you need, you need to have that faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. That belief, man. Thinking of something, you know, you gotta know the scripture say the Lord gonna come back. You got to think that to be true. You know, and, and hope that the Lord chooses you, man. And that's all we got is the hope, you know. He he gave he said he would he would he would promise us some some blessings. So we basically have to, uh, like Abraham, man. We have to patiently, uh, basically like this patiently wait on it. I think that's uh, here. Hebrews six. Hebrews 6 and I'll say, uh, sorry, 13, for when the Most High made promise to Abraham, behold, he could swear by no greater 
he swear by himself, saying, Surely blessing, surely blessings, I will bless thee and multiply, I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained a promise. That's the main part right there. After he had patiently endured, right? I'm gonna go in at it patiently endure. He received a promise. This is uh, Hebrews. Hebrews six fifteen. It says after he had patiently endured, uh, mach 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 to be of long spirit, not of lost heart. So don't faint, man. To per preserve, preserve patiently and bravely in enduring misfortunes and troubles. So we're gonna go through different trials and tribulations while you're in the truth, man. It says to patient in bearing the offenses and injuries of others, man. Having Esau always coming against us, man. Unrighteous decrees. We gotta be patient. We gotta bear that. Uh, it says. The same to be long-spirited, that is, objective forbearing or subjectly be patient, to bear long, to be long-suffering, be patient, to endure, meaning be steadfast. And then it said we will obtain the promises, man. When you go into obtain, it means to obtain, uh, basically when you obtain something, you, you, you grasp it. it, it's in your possession. So I'm going to read that again. Hebrews 6 and 15 and so after he had patiently endured Abraham then he obtained the promises and that's what we that's the walk that we're walking in now we're enduring the trials and the tribulations of being under this wicked uh, kingdom America we're going through these troubled times man we're going through these different injuries man we're going through these persecutions which uh, there are going to be more they're going to be more brothers right this is this is just the beginning man I, the real test is to come, man. So our test is going to be, faith are going to be tested. So we have to constantly keep prayed up, man. Keep praying to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, just to keep your faith strong in that day to help you endure, to help you endure, man. Because then after enduring, we patiently endure, then we're going to obtain that, that promise, which is the promise of the kingdom of heaven, man. Having, having our land back, man. Having our... our kids and our wives back just having dominion having our, our servants back man you know being righteous man and living for you how about shim yahweh shai and with that all praises be to the heavenly father and the son yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rakah and double honors to the apostles the elders of gms who rule well the peace and blessings to the hopeful elect man this is gms stop and listen man just coming with another lesson hope this lesson was edifying shalom